which of the following is used to decide the order of elements in the periodic table? Okay, as we all know, um, the periodic table elements are arranged in terms of their atomic number. Okay, but if you look at the options here, okay, you do not find this option atomic number. Okay, so never mind. We look at the periodic table. Okay, look at the legend here. Can you see that it's either atomic number or proton number? Okay, so proton number and atomic number, basically they are the same. Okay, and this proton numbers, okay, basically tells us the number of protons. Okay, so in this case we can choose the answer C. Okay, clear with this. Okay, let's move on. Okay, a vertical column in the periodic table is called the group. Okay, this is very straightforward. And do you recall? Okay, if it's a horizontal row, what is it called? Start with P, period. Excellent. Okay. Next question. Okay, I have some true false question here to test your understanding. Altogether, I have eight statements. If you can get eight out of eight, that means your understanding on period table is there. Okay, let's try. Okay, um period table is organized into groups and periods. Okay, definitely this is true. Okay, vertical groups, horizontal is called periods. Okay, next. Both elements and compounds are listed in the table. Okay, at this point of time, I know you might not have touched on this term called compound. Okay, but I told you that the periodic table is basically the house for elements and not compounds, right? So it only house all the elements, not compounds. Okay, so this has to be false. Okay, and both man-made and natural occurring elements are listed. Okay, this is true because the periodic table consists of all the elements that you can find on Earth. Okay, whether is it man-made or is it uh is it natural occurring? Okay, and next number four, both matters and non-matters they are listed. Yes, remember the zigzag line. It separates the matters from the non-matters. Okay, number five. Elements are arranged according to increasing relative atomic mass. Okay, some students might be tricked because they see the word atomic, then they'll just put it eh, true. Okay, but is it atomic number or atomic mass? Okay, atomic mass. Okay, is the number below. Okay, atomic number is the number on top. Okay, if you look at the periodic table, okay, they are grouped according to the atomic number, which is the number on top, not the atomic mass which is the number below, okay? So, this part, there is a problem. It should be atomic number, not atomic mass. Okay, statement six. Elements in the same period, they have the same chemical properties. Okay, is this correct? Okay, I don't think so, uh, because it should not be the same period. It should be the same group, okay? Only when they are grouped in the same uh, group, the vertical column, they have the same uh, chemical properties. Remember previously we touched on this question, sodium and potassium, they belong to the same column, same group, okay? So this is false. Elements in group zero are all gases at room temperature, okay? So we look at the periodic table. Can you see that group zero is actually right on the right side, okay? All the way to the right. And we know that across the period, the state of the element, it changes from solid to liquid to gases, okay? So to the right side, right at the end, right, all this should be gases, okay? This part, clear? So group zero, um, there is a name, another name given to, given to this uh, group of element. They are called the noble gases, okay? And noble gases, of course, it tells you that they are all gases at room temperature, okay? So this is true. And next, um, it boiling point increases from left to right in a periodic table, okay? We know that from the left to right, okay, the state changes from solid to liquid to gas, okay? And of course, if the if the trend of the states is from solid, liquid to gas, that means the boiling point must be decreasing across the period, okay? Because lower boiling point, that means higher tendency that it is a gas. So this is wrong because instead of increases, it should be 
decreases.